Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to cook something I don't think I've cooked on this channel yet. And it's kind of odd because most of the other sous vide and barbecue guys, you know, cook steak all the time. Um, I know sous vide everything. Google, he cooks steak like every day. <laughs> but I haven't done a, you know, real steak on our uh, on this channel yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of uh, New York strips that I picked up the other day. I already got them pre-seasoned and um, vacuum packed, um, just thawed them out yesterday. And they're about two inches thick. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try out this new um, Gista uh, sous vide rack that they've sent me to kind of try out. And I'm going to be giving some of these away in my drawing coming up on September And one of the things 1st, I like so about it, it's got this little strap that you can use to keep it all together. And I'm going to go ahead and put it together and show you how it works. It actually is adjustable. Those are the two sides. It has all these different racks in here. And then this bar actually holds these two together, so it kind of gives it some tension. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of these in. And we're going to use this rack to hold down our New York strips. And you can use as many or as few of these racks as you need to. So since I've only got two packs here, I'm only going to use a couple of them here. I'm kind of space them out. So that should give us enough. But there's two more. It comes with, um, you know, five individual little uh, set it up dividers. Stakes here. I'm just going to kind of put them right in there, just like that. And then I'm going to take this little. bar and it holds them right together and that holds it you can actually put it a little bit farther apart if I wanted to but that's going to hold it down it's going to I got my sous vide is already up and at temp at 130 degrees 132 degrees and then I'm going to go ahead and put these, these steaks, steaks in there on the and slide and grill feature that you saw in my chicken wing video the other day where the it removes the uh, heat deflector and I can cook right on the grates um, and I'm also going to try out a couple of them on the sear box to see which one We're comes out. that better. out. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these in the CD. Tonight's going to be the first time I'm trying out the um, Camp Chef Charwood Hickory Charcoal Blend pellets. I just got those in. So this is the Charwood hickory charcoal blend pellets. So that's what I'm going to be searing these on the uh, sliding grill function tonight. Regular pellet grill part is up to 400. I just turned the sear box on because that thing gets hot pretty quick. So I'm going to go ahead and let those get real hot and I'm going to go right now I'm going to go get the uh, steaks out of the bath and get them all hey, seasoned guys, up. I got these right pulled back. out and I'm going to pat them dry real good. Both of my grill and my sear box are um, right up to temp. So I'm just going to pat these dry really good. And I'm going to put some more of my steak rub. It's got espresso, salt, pepper, garlic. And we're going to get them on the, the grill. Big chamber is up to 460. I got the sliding grill <coughs> open. So I'm going to put two of these right here in the middle on the charcoal on the uh, cast iron grate and I know that sear box is up pretty hot so I'm gonna put two right in the middle of that sear box and I'm gonna close this up close them both up and I'm gonna cook them for about the same time I'm gonna go for about a minute on each side so I'm going to count down for a minute, and I'll see you guys right. back. It's been right at about a minute. Start with these first. I'm just going to turn it over. Close it back up. Give it another minute. On that side, do the same here. Give it another minute. All right, another minute. And I'm going to turn these the other way so we can get some good grill marks. About a minute on this side. Do the 
same thing here. All right, let's do the one more turn. This will be our last turn. Both of these are looking pretty good. Give him one more right, minute and we should guys, be done. I'm go ahead and shut this off. And I'm going to crank this down. Pull these stakes off. All right. These look fantastic. So, just so you guys know, I know for a fact these ones here are the ones that were cooked on the sliding grill. Uh, and the big part of the grill with the um, heat deflector moved. And these ones here were cooked on the sear box. So remember these here too, we used those charcoal pellets. So we're gonna, that's going to be interesting to see how that tastes. Let's just cut right into this part here. Just kind of show you. They are still medium rare. I'll cut in the same spot on this one. Just like I'm going to show you guys. Just kind of the fatty part. But still medium rare. They got a pretty good sear on them, both of them. That's still medium rare. Got a good sear. I'm going to go ahead and taste this one's the one with the charcoal. Hmm. You can taste a little bit of the charcoal. It's not a really overpowering flavor, but. I can taste it. I can taste it was there. You can definitely tell that one had a little bit of a charcoal taste to it. But they're both good. Both of them got a really good sear. And um, I like them. I like them both. I'm going to cut this one right in the middle. So you can see how that turned out. And then I'll do the same with this one. So as far as being able to sear, they both did a really good job. And about the same amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these up and we're going to eat some dinner. But All right, guys. I uh, highly suggest um, you getting those charwood, uh, those charwood pellets. They're, they're pretty good. I mean, I can taste the, char the charcoal on there. It's not really overpowering, but I can taste it. It'll probably work out better on a... Uh, less higher temperature cook probably in a 300 degree temperature because uh, they're burning so hot a lot of that charcoal flavor probably burns off but make sure you follow us on facebook like and subscribe and follow us on instagram